Which Haven caravans offer the best value for money? Savers are the cheapest, but is it worth upgrading to bronze? To find out, we went to Primrose Valley in Yorkshire. Primrose Valley is located just south of Filey in between Scarborough and Bridlington. Perched on a cliff above a long sandy beach, the site's in a great spot, but it can be a bit exposed. We visited the site in late September, when the weather can be particularly unpredictable. So we chose a bronze caravan as these guarantee central heating, whereas saver caravans don't. The bronze caravans also give you a little bit more space. They're guaranteed to be 12 foot wide, whereas some of the savers are only 10 foot wide. Having stayed in a beautiful caravan in Cornwall just a few weeks previously, we were keen to see if Haven's bronze caravans would be even better. So we arrived at Primrose Valley and first impressions were really good. There are some really nice areas in the park with spacious lakeside plots, but unfortunately our caravan wasn't in one of them. We were located in Pine Ridge, which as you can see from the map, is an area where the caravans are particularly tightly packed. Unlike silver caravans, bronze caravans don't have any decking. But with a view like this, we're hardly going to miss it, are we? Saying that, we only use the vans as a base anyway, so let's take a look inside. The doors are unlocked but sealed once they've been cleaned. So when you arrive, you break off the seal, open the door and you'll find your keys inside. So entering the caravan, we've got the kitchen straight in front of us. And then turning to the left, we've got the lounge area where you can see we've got the large screen TV, the radiator and plenty of fixed seating. There are more seats under the TV if there's a few of you and you want to sit around the dining table. There's another radiator by the door. And then we've got the fridge freezer. Top's the fridge, the bottom's the freezer. It's not a massive freezer, but it's big enough. The kitchen's well equipped, the gas cooker, kettle, microwave, etc. But there's no dishwasher, which we did have in a saver caravan in Cornwall. If we head down the corridor at the end of the kitchen, you can see there's another radiator in the corridor. And then straight ahead, we've got the master bedroom, which, as you can see, is quite compact. There's just about enough room to squeeze a double bed in there. This is because this is a three bedroom caravan. The two bedroom caravans have much bigger master bedrooms. Okay, but we have got an ensuite. You see, everything's very, very clean, by the way. And there are plenty of hooks for hanging up towels and clothes. So let's go through to the twin bedrooms. Again, very compact. So there's not a lot of room between the beds. They're both very, very similar. It's okay for kids, but I think it'd be a bit of a struggle with two adults in there. There are radiators in all the bedrooms, by the way. So back down the corridor towards the lounge, and on the left-hand side, we've got the bathroom. In the bathroom, you've got the shower cubicle, which again is not huge, but it's big enough. There's a courtroom-sized sink with a mirror above. The toilet, which you can see has just been disinfected, and a towel radiator. So there's plenty of room in the lounge, even though the view's rubbish. But the bedrooms are really tight. Unless you need the extra beds, I'd really recommend getting a two-bedroom caravan. The site itself was very nice. It was an easy walk into Filey along the beach, about 20 minutes. Filey itself is a pleasant little resort with a nice beach and gardens. There are some decent pubs, good fish and chips and a well-stocked Tesco's. There's a bus which comes onto site with a stop outside reception, which runs between the bigger resorts of Scarborough in the north and Bridlington in the south. So there's plenty to do if you're just using it as a base like we did. Primrose Valley's got all the usual kids facilities and entertainment venues, but if, like us, you're not bothered about these, you can get a Haven hideaway package, which just gives you access to the restaurants and takeaways. We paid just over £100 for four nights, which I thought was good value for money. It would have been nice to have one of the lakeside caravans with a deck veranda overlooking a green and then the water features, but these caravans cost significantly more, even out of season. So which grade of caravans do I think offers the best value for money? To be honest, it depends on the deal that you get. Prices change all the time and are date and park dependent. If you want guaranteed central heating, you'll need a minimum of bronze. If you want a veranda, you'll need to go for a minimum of silver. But it doesn't matter which grade you go for, they'll all be clean and comfortable and they all seem to be well maintained, in our experience anyway. It's nice to have the extra space that you get in the larger caravans from bronze category upwards. But unless you really need three bedrooms, I would really recommend going for a two bedroom caravan. The two bedroom caravans have much more generous sleeping quarters with more storage and a lot more room around the beds. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. Any questions, leave a comment below. 
And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Travel. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it does make a big difference to small channels like mine. I'll see you soon.